This is such a bop. Whoa, whoa, if I close my eyes. Do you know what? I'm in such a good mood today. I'm about to go out tonight, so I was going to do this as a tip to get ready with me, but my mum and dad kind of sat me down the other day and was like, Hannah, you need to stop drinking so much. So, mum and dad, this is for you. I'm just going to be doing my go-to glam because I've seen so many comments about this recently, especially on Instagram and on YouTube and things like that. Um, I've not done like an updated glam in what feels like forever, so I'm literally just going to be using my favourite favorite products of the minute and talking you guys through how I apply them. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna start with eyes. As always, you guys know I never do skin first. I am not that bitch. I can't do it. I wish I could. So I'm just gonna start off with brows. Um, and I'm gonna be using the Benefit Precisely Brow Pencil in the shade 4, which is my holy grail for brows. You guys know how much I love this. So I'm just gonna be doing the arch and then following it down towards the tail. And I always elongate the tail a little bit and lift it slightly, which I fix with concealer after as well. And then at the front, I kind of just do really small strokes going upwards, starting at the bottom of the brow and then flicking away just so that it looks like natural hairs. Um, so I'm gonna do all of that and then I'm gonna repeat on the other sides. Fingers crossed they look even because you guys always like to come for my brows. So thank you so much. Love you all. See you there. And then I'm going to do eye cream. I am going to fix my brows. I know they're a little bit crazy at the minute. So don't come for me yet. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Ole Hendrickson or Ole Hendrickson. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. This is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I've been really enjoying using this at the minute. I either use this one or the Charlotte Tilbury one. You'll also be able to tell as well, I've got a couple of lash extensions left. But when I say a couple, like they are basically gone so i'm going to be working around those always prime the eyes so i'm going to be using tarte shape tape in the shade light medium you guys know it's my favorite concealer ever and then i'm going to be setting it in place with the ysl souffle Declat translucent powder in the shade two um me and Mads have been trying desperately to find this powder because she's fallen in love with it since she's in mine and we've been to like so many different stores and not found it so i don't know if it's like an online only situation but this is genuinely like the best powder i've ever used so 10 out of 10 recommend. I know some people don't like to set their base, but if I use concealer, I will always set it just because it lasts so much longer throughout the night. Palette wise, I've mentioned this palette a couple of times, but if you genuinely want to know my go-to holy grail, like if I had to have one palette in the whole world, it would be this palette. It is the Kylie Cosmetics Bronze palette i'm pretty sure this is which mine is disgusting inside now like you can see how much use it gets so i'm going to be taking a zoeva um 228 lux crease brush i'm going to start with this shade here which as you can see is like my go-to transition color like i'm obsessed with it so i'm just gonna get a little bit of that on the brush and then we're gonna start on the outer corner of the crease so you kind of just want to feel where your natural crease is and then just start using really small and almost quite light-handed circular motions, bringing it towards the inner part of the crease. Don't worry about being super neat with it. Like the whole point of this glam is that it's kind of like, not messy, but it's not like super put together. Like we're not gonna be doing a cut crease or anything. It's actually a very easy eye look to do. And then when I've got less product on the brush, just taking it up a little bit higher just to blend it out. I mean, that color alone like does so much for your crease. Like some days if I'm in a rush, I'll pretty much just use just this alone and like it literally does what I need it to do. Like it contours your eye really beautifully. Where is this lighting just gone? This is actually so rude, like I'm offended. There's like the biggest, darkest gray cloud outside right now. We're gonna have a fight. If this isn't my life in a nutshell, I don't know what is, honestly. Right, I'm gonna wait a minute. Hopefully it'll clear up, maybe. See you in a sec, <laughs> maybe. Right. This is what I've had to do, okay? I've actually had to settle up the smallest light I can find <laughs> to get this video done because I'm determined to get it done. Like, I feel like I've not posted anything in forever and I am not letting the weather ruin it. So, um, I'm gonna take a Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm gonna be taking this shade here, which again, you can see is very loved by me. And that is gonna go on the outer corner. So I always pat it where I want it first just because that gives you the most amount of color payoff. Once I've got the base color down, I'm just gonna flip the brush on its side and I'm just gonna start creating. It almost creates a line naturally, but it's just not as harsh as if you're gonna use tape. And then you can see that's gonna start creating our wing. So 
you can kind of blend it into the crease color as well. The great thing about these shadows is they just kind of melt into each other really easily. So I'm just gonna apply that there and then I'm going back in with the same brush, the blending brush from before, no additional product. And I'm just gonna kind of like buff the edges out. And then already that is gonna give us a little bit of a lift which we love. So you can see there we've got the base shape, which to be honest, came out pretty good if I do say so myself. This is what I mean, like it's literally taken me less than five minutes to do that, so great. And then if you wanted, you could do a lid color, but because I've got lashes on at the minute, I've just been trying to keep this as simple as possible. Like obviously the lashes are pretty much gone now, but when I have been doing my makeup on Instagram and things like that, this is the look I've been doing. So I'm gonna take an angle brush. This is a MAC. 266 short handled brush and I'm going to be dipping in um, kind of like mixing between the darkest brown and the black and then I'm going to start on the outer part of the lashes and I'm going to basically be doing a shadow version of a wing liner so the reason that I'm enjoying this way more than like an actual liquid liner is because A, it's quicker, B, it's easier not to fuck up, and C, it's easier to kind of remove um, with like lashes on. So it's just a lot more like natural, more smoky, I'm kind of more like seductive, and again, just not as structured. Like I don't want anything super intense and super like defined. I just want like a smoky wing. It's good because obviously we've already done the shape with the shadow. You just want to follow that and literally stamp it out. So kind of like there. Then back in, you can kind of shut your eye afterwards and then start to bring it in to the inner corner. Okay, so it's a wing, but it's not a super intense wing, if that makes sense. Like, especially once I've done strip lashes, like it really just looks like, it looks like it's just lifted your eye. I can't really explain it. Quick little bit of pencil liner in the upper lash line. Right, lashes. You guys are gonna kill me because I don't actually know the name of these. <laughs> so these I actually wore on my beauty base shoot, which for everyone who's been messaging me about the emails and like the campaign, thank you so much. Like honestly, it means the world to me. I'll find out from someone at Beauty Bay what they're called because I literally have no idea. Like we just chucked them on on the day. They are very intense, but sometimes you've just gotta be that bitch. So tweezers, where you at my friend? They are glam lashes that's why i do more of a natural eye as well because like the lashes take up so much that i don't want it to be overwhelming which for some of you it will be but still glam glow always you know how it is glam glow water burst um hydrated glow moisturizer i love this stuff it smells really good as well like it smells really fresh which we love and then you want to take it down the neck a bit as well because you always want to put foundation on your neck even if it matches perfectly it's more so just so that the kind of like texture matches. Always, if you're gonna massage your face as well, always do like upwards motions, like with your neck, with your cheeks, underneath your eyes. Always wanna lift. Primer wise, I've been using the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer just because it's pretty much nearly run out now. Sorry, itchy nose, oh my God. It's almost run out now. It's one of my favorite primers ever. And considering how much I love it, I'm just gonna like use it up because there's literally like the tiniest bit left. Just like does what it says on the tin. <laughs> Hydrates the skin. It's quite thick, which I really like. Like it definitely makes your skin quite tacky. Foundation wise, I'm gonna be using NARS Sheer Glow, Oldie But Goody. Like this is one of my favorite foundations when I first started doing makeup and they recently sent me a new one in the shade Stromboli and I've just been obsessed. Um, and the brush that I'm using is a Luxie Angled Brush. I get so many questions on this brush whenever I use it. Um, I don't think it's actually meant for foundation, but it just does such a good job of buffing out liquid foundations. Don't use it if I'm gonna use creams um, or like sticks, but it just does a really good job with liquids and it just makes sure that you don't apply it with like too much of a heavy hand. Anyway guys, it feels like I've not spoke to you in forever. I don't know what it is about eyes, but I feel like I can never actually sit and chat when I'm doing eyes because I have to concentrate way more than skin. But you know, how have we all been? I feel like my channel and Mads' channel has just merged into a joint channel recently. Like everything I film is with Mads. So <laughs> wanted to give you just me for a change. If you like that. <laughs> Always do the neck, boys and girls. It's so important. Like, can't stress it enough. It'll make such a difference in your photos. I even do my chest. Like, honestly, I will take this all the way down. Like, all the way down to my vagina, you know? Maybe not that far, but still. What am I talking about? Can I just actually start? I'm not even drunk yet. Like, this is an issue. <laughs> I've not even started drinking yet. And I'm already chatting shit. How good does that make your skin look, though? Like, it's 
relatively full coverage i would say this foundation it's not super full coverage i'd say it's more of a medium um but it just kind of looks like skin like you can still see some of my like beauty marks and stuff through it but it gives me enough coverage that i like feel good okay cream contour wise obviously you guys know l'oreal infallible stick in the shade caramel toffee is my favorite so i'm just gonna apply a fair bit of this i like to apply quite a lot if i'm going out because i like to be super bronze um, and this is a little bit more of a red tone as well so it kind of helps to like mesh the fake tan and like the foundation color together because this is a little bit yellow for me and then i have been obsessed with this brush recently so i've been using the hourglass um i don't know what this is called it doesn't have a name i'm assuming it's just a foundation brush and um, but it's kind of like a short handle brush and it's just great for buffing it into the skin like it does the job so quickly. Also, I feel like I just want to take this time <laughs> to say thank you so much for all the support on my recent videos. Like, I feel like you guys are really enjoying my content at the minute, which I just love. Like, most of my videos have been doing really well, and that just makes me super happy. <laughs> Not to get soppy, but I just want to say thank you and stuff because... I feel like towards the end of last year, I was just getting a little bit lost with YouTube and I didn't really know like what type of content I wanted to do. Um, but I've been really enjoying doing like these types of makeup videos and more like vlog style stuff and obviously clothing hauls and things like that as well. So I'm glad you're all enjoying. Well, hopefully you're enjoying. Okay, so I take it to about there. Obviously it's still very heavy. Um, and then all you wanna do is go back in with whatever foundation brush you use. So I'm just using the Luxie one. And I'm just gonna press over everything and you can see already like my forehead is just seamless now So you kind of just want to press into the skin and even if it's still looking heavy then don't worry because like we've not done concealer yet so um, It's gonna be fine by the time that we've done that but, like honestly it takes me two seconds to apply that stick It's so easy to blend out like it's genuinely one of my favorites and then concealer of course I'm just using Chart Tate <laughs> Every time I do that, I'm just like, fuck's sake. Sharp tape shade. Heart shape tape in the shade light medium again. It's a little bit of a lighter shade, so it's gonna um, brighten under the eyes. Oh my god, itch, 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 itch. And then rather than applying on my chin and like other parts of the face to highlight, I'm gonna leave it. And then I pretty much just take whatever's excess on the sponge because the last thing I wanna do is add too much product to the skin. Like I don't want it to start looking cakey. So I'm going to start buffing that out with my beauty blender and by the time I've blended it all out, because I do apply obviously quite a lot of concealer, by the time I've buffed it all in, like I definitely have excess on the sponge so I kind of just use that to go across the rest of the face like here. Like I'll just lightly tap the forehead because I don't want to disturb too much of the cream bronzer. But I also do just want to like very, very gently highlight there as well, just so it all ties in. Always go right up to the nostrils as well, because that is where makeup tends to wear off the quickest on me. That is what it looks like when it's all buffed in. And then back to powder, Miss YSL over here is the absolute go. I'm just gonna press in. So I literally just press into the powder and then you've seen this magic before but when i say this powder is like a filter it really just smooths everything out and i don't take too much to the point where i'm like really heavily baking i just take enough so that i have a layer of powder there and then i can sweep it away really easily with a brush and i do this with a sponge because i feel like it really melts it into the skin just using a real technique setting brush just to sweep away any excess for now actual doll skin obviously it's taken away a little bit of color because i've not fully sweeped it off but this is when i go in with the second powder <laughs> i'm going to take a big powder brush this is by iconic and i'm going to be using mac studio fix powder you could you don't have to use studio fix it does have coverage so if you want to use like a like non-coverage powder that's fine this is in the shade mw25 and this is what's going to bring a little bit of color back into the face as well as whatever bronzer we use too that is my skin now wait let me just like put the brightness down so you can actually see the full effect honestly like if you don't have that powder you need it and you need to use it with a damp sponge and a damp sponge only okay to finish off under eye we're gonna go back in with the same palette from kylie we're taking a backstage beauty eyeshadow like eye blender brush and just again the transition color you just want to mimic everything that we did on the top on the lower lash line so again 
starting on the outer corner so you just want to kind of feel where your lower lashes are and just kind of stick there and then when you've got less product on the brush you can kind of like come down a little bit further just to buff it out and then i'm going to do a little bit of liner in the lower lash line so this is mac stubborn brown but any brown liner will do you don't really want to use black for this just because it will look quite intense i mean you can use black if you want but i don't want my eyes to be that intense today so i say that like i've not got like six inch lashes on but still no eye look is complete without nylon i get so many questions about what my inner corner highlight is on instagram on instagram stories on youtube like so many questions like when i have to see people in public my inner corner highlight will always always be nylon like i will never use anything else for it i've actually hit pan on this one now but i just take an anastasia brush that you can get in any of the palettes and I kind of just like do circ circular motions on the inner part of the eye. Very intense, you only need a really small amount. Okay, a little bit of brow gel, a little bit of Anastasia clear brow gel, just to set those in place. Okay, and then a tiny bit of lower lash mascara. I kind of like flick my lower lashes outwards as well now. Okay, those are the eyes pretty much done. Very like wispy and intense, but I live for them. To finish off the skin, I'm gonna start off with bronzer. And the bronzer I've been obsessing over recently, it's not even a bronzer. Um, it's my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark. And I use a MAC 135 brush for this. I'm gonna start by just hitting very gently the tops of my forehead because it is quite an intense shade dark. It's quite warm as well. And I'm gonna use a little bit to bronze the cheeks the best part of all of these videos all of these tutorials the best part is always nose contour i'm obsessed with doing this at the minute i just love it i'm gonna be using a makeup forever what brush is this a 144 brush and i'm just gonna dip into this like tiny little cute little hula recently i've just been like squeezing the brush just to make sure it's nice and tapered and then i'm gonna start on one side of the nose you guys have seen me do this so many times now. Um, but I'm just doing really soft up and down motions. And I'm only taking it to the very top of where the tip of my nose starts. So you want to keep it as straight as possible. You can clean it up if you want to. But I feel like nose contour is actually quite hard to clean up if you don't get it right first time. Maybe it's just me though. Maybe I'm just not good at cleaning it up. And then I'm going to do the underneath which is my favourite, favourite part. So I literally just do a really light layer under the entire of the bottom of my nose. And this just gives the illusion of a much more lifted nose. Like you can see already how much it's just lifted my nose naturally. Just really gently tap over the whole thing. You don't want to swipe because you don't want to like disturb the lines that you've created. Um, and then I'm going to take my foundation brush actually for the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics um, Skinny Dip Palette. Sorry, I actually can't hold this. I'm going to be taking a Sigma F35 highlighting brush. So I'm just going to dip in like so there and take up a fair bit on the brush. And then I'm just going to hit the very top of my cheeks but also blend it down a little bit into the bronzer there. You also spray your skin with some like setting spray now if you wanted to intensify it more but I feel like the loose powder doesn't need it. So the loose highlighter is the shade Santorini from Kylie Cosmetics which I don't know if it's still in stock or if it was limited edition but these ones in general are really good. Um, and I'm going to be using a fan brush for this. So this is by Zoeva. It's just the 129 fan brush. And I'm literally just going to tap off more than that because it's very intense. Like, hello. Hello. Okay, we're back in the game. Okay, have fun. I yeah, love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, Fairly Precious Blush by MAC. It is beautiful. Like, can we take a look at this in the pan a second? It's such a gorgeous cross between, like, a peachy, like, almost highlighter and a blush. Um, but I'm just going to use a MAC uh, blush brush. And just apply that to the apples of the cheeks and it kind of just meshes the blush and the, the highlighter and the bronzer together kind of went through a phase where i couldn't be bothered with blush anymore but it really does make all the difference so bear it in mind <laughs> okay and then to finish off i'm gonna do lips so i'm gonna be using the makeup forever waterproof lip liner in the shade 1c if you see me wearing a nude lip it is either this or tiramisu lip liner by rimmel like those are the only two lip liners that i'm using at the minute um, and i'm gonna i don't know what lipstick to put over actually i might just do this and a little bit of lip balm because that's been one of my favorite things to do you know what i might actually leave it like that 
like I feel like that looks really cute. You know what? I'm gonna leave it there. I'll probably put gloss on later. Like I always take a lip gloss out, so I'll probably take this one out by um Zoeva, which is just the high gloss in the shade um spread your wings. It's like a really pretty gold colour, but I kind of like it by itself at the minute, like just the matte situation <laughs> and then very last but not least we always want to do setting sprays so a little bit of all nighter <clears throat> excuse me like when i say i drown in this stuff i am not lighting you need to be wet like your skin needs to feel physically wet and then you just need to look up so that your bottom lash mascara doesn't print down <laughs> okay so this is the finished makeup so i'll give you a close-up i've tried my best to like alter the lighting so that you can see it all properly um, but this is how everything looks. Really just like boss bitch. That is what I would describe this makeup as. Like you walk into a club, you're feeling yourself. We've got a big fuck off lash on, a cute nude lip, glossy skin. <coughs> Say no more. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my hair and my makeup and then I will show you the finished look. I don't know if I'm going to sit here and do it or finish it off at Mads. But either way, I will say bye to you. I might do a little bit of a vlog as well because... I just love vlogging nights out, so I might do that too. Um, but yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed this makeup tutorial. <laughs> um, and if you want to see the finished look, then just keep watching.